We Were Not Meant to Be Glorified by Betsy St. Demont Haddix, read by Ellie Johnson. The one who has the bride is the bridegroom. The friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. Therefore, this joy of mine is now complete. He must increase, but I must decrease. John 3, 29 through 30. It's old news now. You turn on the news or open your social media account to discover yet another child star has gone off the deep end. Once bright, vibrant teen sensations on popular TV shows, now incredibly unhealthy adults with horrible self-esteem and shocking Instagram feeds leaving behind a wake of bad relationships and rash decisions. When young adults peak in fame and popularity so young, there's nowhere to go but down. It's not just the youth that fall prey to this type of spiral, though. None of us were meant for fame. The human heart wasn't intended to bear that burden. We were created with the deep, innate need to worship, not be worshipped. Everything in our life gets flipped over and upside down when we mix that up. I have so much respect for the wisdom of Bible teachers and pastors who point to Christ and away from themselves, even as their book sales increase or their social media stats grow. They know the danger and pitfalls around them and are cautious to stay humble. It's a tricky balance at times to teach, share, and help others grow, all while not letting a semblance of fame go to your own head. Celebrities rise and fall. Tabloids crank out rumors of divorce, scandals, affairs, and other pieces of news that turn heads and spike sales. However true or false some of those headlines might be, we can tell from even a cursory, surface-level glimpse inside Hollywood that all is not well with their souls. We were not meant for glory. True peace and fulfillment in our lives comes only from giving Christ glory. Where He increases and we decrease is where we find truest rest for our souls. Our success as Christians is not related to how many followers we have, but how well we follow God. Our self-esteem comes not from multiple likes on a social media page, but from our degree of likeness to Christ. We were made in God's image, but we dare not steal His glory. It will crush us. Today, if you're feeling the pressure of needing to collect more numbers, followers, likes, or clicks, take a step back. Whether the pressure is from a boss, a publisher, a leader, or simply the lies rattling inside your head demanding validation, just breathe. Redirect your focus to God. Inhale His glory and exhale your own stuffy, stale, counterfeit version. True peace, success, and fulfillment comes when we lay down the sacrifice of self and worship Him alone. Hey everyone, thanks for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, a production of the Salem Web Network. If you enjoyed what you heard today, we'd love for you to head over to iTunes and rate and review our podcast. It really does help people find us. This episode was produced by our managing editor, Kelly Givens, and recorded and edited by Stephen Sanders. Be sure to come back tomorrow as we examine more of God's Word.